man on. <laughs> I've seen this on like, yes, it's man. a Facebook live. Hail underscore GH. Yeah, yeah. Instagram, Twitter. Instagram and Twitter. definitely will come and stay for sure stay when they come to Ghana so I want to know how people can um, book or find a way to reach you guys if you're on Airbnb, Hotel.com, Expedia Okay so we are on Airbnb and we are on Booking.com and much of our client is as a result of rain planners okay but basically um, Airbnb and Booking.com no, you said much of your clients are through referrals. Referrals, yeah. What, when you say referrals, um, what, what kind of referrals? Is it link referrals or just car referrals? Okay, okay. We have about forty-five percent from link referrals. No, from fiscal referrals. Oh, okay. Yeah, and we, we also get more from um, okay, a lot is from fiscal. Okay. Yeah, but we do get about 45%. Fiscal as in when the clients spend a day, he or she based on the good review. Exactly. That's what we do. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Any other question? Okay. <coughs> now then. Thank you. Um, good afternoon. My name is Melvin from Daily Guy. Um, you raised an issue about the road network connecting to this place. Um, how is it affecting your operations and then what exactly do you want from government? When should this road be constructed and when do you expect to see it completed? Thank you. In a very bad way. Anytime you have to give anybody the direction to come over, one, they may even want to say that the place is far and a bit remote, but it has its advantages and disadvantages because somebody will not even get away and get lost. So that one has it. Yeah. But then immediately you are done with the school junction to British International Junction. The rest is a nightmare. It is really affecting us. We would want as a business concern, we would want government to tackle it as soon as possible and i said before we went on the tour we have seen um it's been captured in the budget of 2019 so we want it to be prioritized such that it will receive immediate attention as soon as they begin to look at the road projects so we want it looked at asap have i answered your question what is the people here, notwithstanding the bad nature of the road, we have people living here. They work all the way in the central business district of Accra. We have MPs here. They, they've lived here for months. They drive almost every year. It's just because it's so affordable. To pay 300 and being in such a, a place is so at least <coughs> yeah. for us, the affordability makes it such that 
it's something that will you know and and will encourage you or it's an incentive for you to just want to be here that that is that is that is our contribution that is that is so much of our contribution okay one last one <coughs> oh we all good Ooh. <laughs> are we good yeah hey, eric <laughs> all right so um ladies and gentlemen i'm all too soon we brought the session to an end i'd like to thank everybody who was able to make it and we are believing in you that we won't just have your presence but after here we will see the results of this session that we have had i would let the general manager say a few goodbye words to you <coughs> and then as you can see behind us we have something small for you before you go you know you've spent a lot of time here you have worked and all that so we have something small for you as well so let me welcome